after having all these themes and decided which one is good for you it's time to enhance our workflow and first i want to make it minimal so you can see we have this sidebar we have this bottom bar and we have this min map min map is useful when you have a file which is very very long so where i can find a long file okay let's see is there any yeah this one so if you want to go at the bottom directly you can click here but i don't like to have uh, this uh, min map here because it is actually taking space and i don't i don't want to use my mouse to go there because my intention is always to use keyboard for everything so there is a keyboard shortcut to go into the bottom of or any line number but we will see that later first let's reduce or turn off this min map once again you can go to the setting from here or as usual we can use the shortcut command and comma and i want to turn off the min map so i said min map and maybe it is without a space or if i search for map just mini map actually not min map <laughs> okay so min map is controlled whether the min map is showing i don't want to show this so now i have changed it and now if i close this settings you can see we don't have that min map cool next i don't like to have this bottom bar because i know i can change something but everything later we can do with the keyboard and we don't have to use the mouse if we don't have to use the mouse then why this bottom bar is there i never looked upon which line number or column number i am i can directly look here and i don't care about the column number i don't care about the spaces and other things so let's close this bottom bar also so to turn off this bottom bar i can go to the setting or i can directly press command and comma but the problem is i am calling it bottom bar what actual name vs code call it i don't know if i search for bottom like this i don't have any reference to that but uh, what we can see here we have a status bar and if i turn it off yes you can see this is there so you have seen that whatever you are calling you can just search and you just need to scroll one or two option then you will get your exact answer also if i turn it on we can change the setting of this one by going to the view then appearance and here you can see show status bar because the name actually is status bar so click here and yeah it is gone from here that's very nice now next thing i don't like is i don't like to have this sidebar here so we can toggle it also so appearance and as we know it is sidebar so i can say sidebar so toggle sidebar and actually that sidebar is this one so what i call this as a explorer bar or okay so i got the point so as i right click here it is actually activity bar so i can go to the view appearance and i can toggle activity bar so you can see activity bar is gone so yes you can also hide the sidebar so sidebar is also not there next thing i don't like to have in my setup is this breadcrumb so breadcrumb is like the structure of your file just around your eyes so if i click here you can see i have all the files inside my source directory or if i click on source i have full directory structure which i got on my explorer so i don't like to have this breadcrumbs so once again i can open the command and i search for bread breadcrumbs and here it says uh, enable disable navigation breadcrumbs so if i turn it off now you can see i don't have that very very nice so this this means when i open my vs code it looks something like this so much cleaner and there is actually nothing <laughs> so how do we get started with any project so currently i already have the project so if i open the sidebar 
you can see I have the project to open a new window where we don't have anything I can go to the file and new window and the shortcut is shift command n for new so I can press shift command and n and you can see this is the window I get once I open the VS code without any project in it but the problem here is yes I can hide this sidebar like this now if I want to go to the sidebar if I want to go to the breadcrumbs how do I go there so what we need to do we need to set up the key binding or keyboard shortcuts for everything we have removed from our screen because everything is useful that's why it is here so let's combine everything and tool everything with the keyboard shortcut 